こんにちは。英語のシャドーイング練習教室へようこそ。司会のシャドウです。ここでは役立つ英会話を練習してネイティブ英語を身につけよう。日常生活で使える英語フレーズを10個、10回ずつ読み上げるから、その後に声に出して10回練習しよう。それじゃあ、始めるよう。Hey Jordan, I've been preparing for the TOEIC test, and I'm finding some of the questions really challenging, especially in the listening and reading sections. Do you have any advice on how to tackle the tougher questions? Hey Jordan, I've been preparing for the TOEIC test, and I'm finding some of the questions really challenging. Especially in the listening and reading sections. Do you have any advice on how to tackle the tougher questions? Hey Jordan, I've been preparing for the TOEIC test, and I'm finding some of the questions really challenging, especially in the listening and reading sections. Do you have any advice on how to tackle the tougher questions? Hey Jordan, I've been preparing for the TOEIC test, and I'm finding some of the questions really challenging, especially in the listening and reading sections. Do you have any advice on how to tackle the tougher questions? Hey Jordan, I've been preparing for the TOEIC test, and I'm finding some of the questions really challenging. Especially in the listening and reading sections. Do you have any advice on how to tackle the tougher questions? Hey Jordan, I've been preparing for the TOEIC test, and I'm finding some of the questions really challenging, especially in the listening and reading sections. Do you have any advice on how to tackle the tougher questions? Hey Jordan, I've been preparing for the TOEIC test, and I'm finding some of the questions really challenging, especially in the listening and reading sections. Do you have any advice on how to tackle the tougher questions? Hey Jordan, I've been preparing for the TOEIC test, and I'm finding some of the questions really challenging. Especially in the listening and reading sections. Do you have any advice on how to tackle the tougher questions? Hey Jordan, I've been preparing for the TOEIC test, and I'm finding some of the questions really challenging, especially in the listening and reading sections. Do you have any advice on how to tackle the tougher questions? Hey Jordan, I've been preparing for the TOEIC test, and I'm finding some of the questions really challenging, especially in the listening and reading sections. Do you have any advice on how to tackle the tougher questions? Absolutely, Alex. TOEIC can be tricky, but there are strategies you can use. For the listening section, one common challenge is the speed and variety of accents. It's important to get used to different English accents and the speed at which native speakers talk. Absolutely. Alex. TOEIC can be tricky, but there are strategies you can use. For the listening section, one common challenge is the speed and variety of accents. 
It's important to get used to different English accents and the speed at which native speakers talk. Absolutely, Alex. TOEIC can be tricky, but there are strategies you can use. For the listening section, one common challenge is the speed and variety of accents. It's important to get used to different English accents and the speed at which native speakers talk. Absolutely, Alex. TOEIC can be tricky, but there are strategies you can use. For the listening section, one common challenge is the speed and variety of accents. It's important to get used to different English accents and the speed at which native speakers talk. Absolutely, Alex. TOEIC can be tricky, but there are strategies you can use. For the listening section, one common challenge is the speed and variety of accents. It's important to get used to different English accents and the speed at which native speakers talk. Absolutely, Alex. TOEIC can be tricky, but there are strategies you can use. For the listening section, one common challenge is the speed and variety of accents. It's important to get used to different English accents and the speed at which native speakers talk. Absolutely, Alex. TOEIC can be tricky, but there are strategies you can use. For the listening section, one common challenge is the speed and variety of accents. It's important to get used to different English accents and the speed at which native speakers talk. Absolutely, Alex. TOEIC can be tricky, but there are strategies you can use. For the listening section, one common challenge is the speed and variety of accents. It's important to get used to different English accents and the speed at which native speakers talk. Absolutely, Alex. TOEIC can be tricky, but there are strategies you can use. For the listening section, one common challenge is the speed and variety of accents. It's important to get used to different English accents and the speed at which native speakers talk. Absolutely, Alex. TOEIC can be tricky, but there are strategies you can use. For the listening section, one common challenge is the speed and variety of accents. It's important to get used to different English accents and the speed at which native speakers talk. Yeah, the variety of accents throws me off. How can I improve on that? Exposure is key. Listen to podcasts, watch shows, or find YouTube channels that use various English accents. The more you listen, the more your ear will adapt to understanding different ways of speaking.
Yeah, the variety of accents throws me off. How can I improve on that? Exposure is key. Listen to podcasts, watch shows, or find YouTube channels that use various English accents. The more you listen, the more your ear will adapt to understanding different ways of speaking. Yeah, the variety of accents throws me off. How can I improve on that? Exposure is key. Listen to podcasts, watch shows, or find YouTube channels that use various English accents. The more you listen, the more your ear will adapt to understanding different ways of speaking. Yeah, the variety of accents throws me off. How can I improve on that? Exposure is key. Listen to podcasts, watch shows, or find YouTube channels that use various English accents. The more you listen, the more your ear will adapt to understanding different ways of speaking. Yeah, the variety of accents throws me off. How can I improve on that? Exposure is key. Listen to podcasts, watch shows, or find YouTube channels that use various English accents. The more you listen, the more your ear will adapt to understanding different ways of speaking. Yeah, the variety of accents throws me off. How can I improve on that? Exposure is key. Listen to podcasts, watch shows, or find YouTube channels that use various English accents. The more you listen, the more your ear will adapt to understanding different ways of speaking. Yeah, the variety of accents throws me off. How can I improve on that? Exposure is key. Listen to podcasts, watch shows, or find YouTube channels that use various English accents. The more you listen, the more your ear will adapt to understanding different ways of speaking. Yeah, the variety of accents throws me off. How can I improve on that? Exposure is key. Listen to podcasts, watch shows, or find YouTube channels that use various English accents. The more you listen, the more your ear will adapt to understanding different ways of speaking. Yeah, the variety of accents throws me off. How can I improve on that? Exposure is key. Listen to podcasts, watch shows, or find YouTube channels that use various English accents. The more you listen, the more your ear will adapt to understanding different ways of speaking. Yeah, the variety of accents throws me off. How can I improve on that? Exposure is key. 
Listen to podcasts, watch shows, or find YouTube channels that use various English accents. The more you listen, the more your ear will adapt to understanding different ways of speaking. That makes sense. What about the reading section? I find the long passages particularly tough. For reading, time management is crucial. That makes sense. What about the reading section? I find the long passages particularly tough. For reading, time management is crucial. That makes sense. What about the reading section? I find the long passages particularly tough. For reading, time management is crucial. That makes sense. What about the reading section? I find the long passages particularly tough. For reading, Time management is crucial. That makes sense. What about the reading section? I find the long passages particularly tough. For reading, time management is crucial. That makes sense. What about the reading section? I find the long passages particularly tough. For reading, time management is crucial. That makes sense. What about the reading section? I find the long passages particularly tough. For reading, Time management is crucial. That makes sense. What about the reading section? I find the long passages particularly tough. For reading, time management is crucial. That makes sense. What about the reading section? I find the long passages particularly tough. For reading, time management is crucial. That makes sense. What about the reading section? I find the long passages particularly tough. For reading, Time management is crucial. Don't get stuck on one difficult question. If you find a question hard, skip it and come back to it later. Focus on understanding the main idea of each paragraph, rather than trying to understand every single word. Don't get stuck on one difficult question. If you find a question hard, skip it and come back to it later. Focus on understanding the main idea of each paragraph, rather than trying to understand every single word. Don't get stuck on one difficult question. If you find a question hard, skip it and come back to it later. Focus on understanding the main idea of each paragraph, rather than trying to understand every single word.
don't get stuck on one difficult question. If you find a question hard, skip it and come back to it later. Focus on understanding the main idea of each paragraph, rather than trying to understand every single word. Don't get stuck on one difficult question. If you find a question hard, skip it and come back to it later. Focus on understanding the main idea of each paragraph, rather than trying to understand every single word. Don't get stuck on one difficult question. If you find a question hard, skip it and come back to it later. Focus on understanding the main idea of each paragraph, rather than trying to understand every single word. Don't get stuck on one difficult question. If you find a question hard, skip it and come back to it later. Focus on understanding the main idea of each paragraph, rather than trying to understand every single word. Don't get stuck on one difficult question. If you find a question hard, skip it and come back to it later. Focus on understanding the main idea of each paragraph, rather than trying to understand every single word. Don't get stuck on one difficult question. If you find a question hard, skip it and come back to it later. Focus on understanding the main idea of each paragraph, rather than trying to understand every single word. Don't get stuck on one difficult question. If you find a question hard, skip it and come back to it later. Focus on understanding the main idea of each paragraph, rather than trying to understand every single word. So, it's more about getting the gist of the text than the details. Exactly. Look for keywords or phrases that can give you a clue about the overall context. Also, practice skimming and scanning techniques to quickly find information in the text. So, it's more about getting the gist of the text than the details. Exactly. Look for keywords or phrases that can give you a clue about the overall context. Also, practice skimming and scanning techniques to quickly find information in the text. So, it's more about getting the gist of the text than the details. Exactly. Look for keywords or phrases that can give you a clue about the overall context. Also, practice skimming and scanning techniques to quickly find information in the text. So, it's more about getting the gist of the text than the details. Exactly. Look for keywords or phrases that can give you a clue about the overall context. Also, practice skimming and scanning techniques to quickly find information in the text.
So, it's more about getting the gist of the text than the details. Exactly. Look for keywords or phrases that can give you a clue about the overall context. Also, practice skimming and scanning techniques to quickly find information in the text. So, it's more about getting the gist of the text than the details. Exactly. Look for keywords or phrases that can give you a clue about the overall context. Also, practice skimming and scanning techniques to quickly find information in the text. So, it's more about getting the gist of the text than the details. Exactly. Look for keywords or phrases that can give you a clue about the overall context. Also, practice skimming and scanning techniques to quickly find information in the text. So, it's more about getting the gist of the text than the details. Exactly. Look for keywords or phrases that can give you a clue about the overall context. Also, practice skimming and scanning techniques to quickly find information in the text. So, it's more about getting the gist of the text than the details. Exactly. Look for keywords or phrases that can give you a clue about the overall context. Also, practice skimming and scanning techniques to quickly find information in the text. So, it's more about getting the gist of the text than the details. Exactly. Look for keywords or phrases that can give you a clue about the overall context. Also, practice skimming and scanning techniques to quickly find information in the text. Skimming and scanning, got it. And what about vocabulary? Sometimes I come across words I don't know. Expanding your vocabulary is a long-term process, but for the test, try to guess the meaning of unknown words based on the context. Look at the sentences around the word for clues. Also, learning common TOEIC word lists can be really helpful. Skimming and scanning, got it. And what about vocabulary? Sometimes I come across words I don't know. Expanding your vocabulary is a long-term process, but for the test, try to guess the meaning of unknown words based on the context. Look at the sentences around the word for clues. Also, learning common TOEIC word lists can be really helpful. Skimming and scanning, got it. And what about vocabulary? Sometimes I come across words I don't know. Expanding your vocabulary is a long-term process, but for the test, try to guess the meaning of unknown words based on the context. Look at the sentences around the word for clues. Also, 
learning common TOEIC word lists can be really helpful. Skimming and scanning, got it. And what about vocabulary? Sometimes I come across words I don't know. Expanding your vocabulary is a long-term process, but for the test, try to guess the meaning of unknown words based on the context. Look at the sentences around the word for clues. Also, learning common TOEIC word lists can be really helpful. Skimming and scanning, got it. And what about vocabulary? Sometimes I come across words I don't know. Expanding your vocabulary is a long-term process, but for the test, try to guess the meaning of unknown words based on the context. Look at the sentences around the word for clues. Also, learning common TOEIC word lists can be really helpful. Skimming and scanning, got it. And what about vocabulary? Sometimes I come across words I don't know. Expanding your vocabulary is a long-term process, but for the test, try to guess the meaning of unknown words based on the context. Look at the sentences around the word for clues. Also, learning common TOEIC word lists can be really helpful. Skimming and scanning, got it. And what about vocabulary? Sometimes I come across words I don't know. Expanding your vocabulary is a long-term process, but for the test, try to guess the meaning of unknown words based on the context. Look at the sentences around the word for clues. Also, learning common TOEIC word lists can be really helpful. Skimming and scanning, got it. And what about vocabulary? Sometimes I come across words I don't know. Expanding your vocabulary is a long-term process, but for the test, try to guess the meaning of unknown words based on the context. Look at the sentences around the word for clues. Also, learning common TOEIC word lists can be really helpful. Skimming and scanning, got it. And what about vocabulary? Sometimes I come across words I don't know. Expanding your vocabulary is a long-term process, but for the test, try to guess the meaning of unknown words based on the context. Look at the sentences around the word for clues. Also, learning common TOEIC word lists can be really helpful. Skimming and scanning, got it. And what about vocabulary? Sometimes I come across words I don't know. Expanding your vocabulary is a long-term process, but for the test, try to guess the meaning of unknown words based on the context. Look at the sentences around the word for clues. Also, 
learning common TOEIC word lists can be really helpful. That's a good strategy. Any final tips, especially for those really tough questions that seem to have two correct answers? In those cases, it's important to remember that there's always one best answer. That's a good strategy. Any final tips, especially for those really tough questions that seem to have two correct answers? In those cases, it's important to remember that there's always one best answer. That's a good strategy. Any final tips, especially for those really tough questions that seem to have two correct answers? In those cases, it's important to remember that there's always one best answer. That's a good strategy. Any final tips, especially for those really tough questions that seem to have two correct answers? In those cases, it's important to remember that there's always one best answer. That's a good strategy. Any final tips, especially for those really tough questions that seem to have two correct answers? In those cases, it's important to remember that there's always one best answer. That's a good strategy. Any final tips, especially for those really tough questions that seem to have two correct answers? In those cases, it's important to remember that there's always one best answer. That's a good strategy. Any final tips, especially for those really tough questions that seem to have two correct answers? In those cases, it's important to remember that there's always one best answer. That's a good strategy. Any final tips, especially for those really tough questions that seem to have two correct answers? In those cases, it's important to remember that there's always one best answer. That's a good strategy. Any final tips, especially for those really tough questions that seem to have two correct answers? In those cases, it's important to remember that there's always one best answer. That's a good strategy. Any final tips, especially for those really tough questions that seem to have two correct answers? In those cases, it's important to remember that there's always one best answer. Pay attention to subtle differences in meaning. Sometimes it's about understanding the nuance of the language. And always make sure your answer fits the context of the entire passage or conversation. Pay attention to subtle differences in meaning. Sometimes it's about understanding the nuance of the language. And always make sure your answer fits the context of the entire passage or conversation.
Pay attention to subtle differences in meaning. Sometimes it's about understanding the nuance of the language. And always make sure your answer fits the context of the entire passage or conversation. Pay attention to subtle differences in meaning. Sometimes it's about understanding the nuance of the language. And always make sure your answer fits the context of the entire passage or conversation. Pay attention to subtle differences in meaning. Sometimes it's about understanding the nuance of the language. And always make sure your answer fits the context of the entire passage or conversation. Pay attention to subtle differences in meaning. Sometimes it's about understanding the nuance of the language. And always make sure your answer fits the context of the entire passage or conversation. Pay attention to subtle differences in meaning. Sometimes it's about understanding the nuance of the language. And always make sure your answer fits the context of the entire passage or conversation. Pay attention to subtle differences in meaning. Sometimes it's about understanding the nuance of the language. And always make sure your answer fits the context of the entire passage or conversation. Pay attention to subtle differences in meaning. Sometimes it's about understanding the nuance of the language. And always make sure your answer fits the context of the entire passage or conversation. Pay attention to subtle differences in meaning. Sometimes it's about understanding the nuance of the language. And always make sure your answer fits the context of the entire passage or conversation. Got it. I'll focus on practice tests and use these strategies. Thanks for your help, Jordan. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, practice is key. The more familiar you are with the format and types of questions, the more confident you'll become. Good luck with your TOEIC preparation. Got it. I'll focus on practice tests and use these strategies. Thanks for your help, Jordan. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, practice is key. The more familiar you are with the format and types of questions, the more confident you'll become. Good luck with your TOEIC preparation. Got it. I'll focus on practice tests and use these strategies. Thanks for your help, Jordan. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, practice is key. The more familiar you are with the format and types of questions, the more confident you'll become. Good luck with your TOEIC preparation.
Got it. I'll focus on practice tests and use these strategies. Thanks for your help, Jordan. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, practice is key. The more familiar you are with the format and types of questions, the more confident you'll become. Good luck with your TOEIC preparation. Got it. I'll focus on practice tests and use these strategies. Thanks for your help, Jordan. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, practice is key. The more familiar you are with the format and types of questions, the more confident you'll become. Good luck with your TOEIC preparation. Got it. I'll focus on practice tests and use these strategies. Thanks for your help, Jordan. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, practice is key. The more familiar you are with the format and types of questions, the more confident you'll become. Good luck with your TOEIC preparation. Got it. I'll focus on practice tests and use these strategies. Thanks for your help, Jordan. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, practice is key. The more familiar you are with the format and types of questions, the more confident you'll become. Good luck with your TOEIC preparation. Got it. I'll focus on practice tests and use these strategies. Thanks for your help, Jordan. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, practice is key. The more familiar you are with the format and types of questions, the more confident you'll become. Good luck with your TOEIC preparation. Got it. I'll focus on practice tests and use these strategies. Thanks for your help, Jordan. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, practice is key. The more familiar you are with the format and types of questions, the more confident you'll become. Good luck with your TOEIC preparation. Got it. I'll focus on practice tests and use these strategies. Thanks for your help, Jordan. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, practice is key. The more familiar you are with the format and types of questions, the more confident you'll become. Good luck with your TOEIC preparation. の練習はこれで終わりです。お疲れ様でした。もしよかったらチャンネル登録をお願いします。それじゃ、またね。